Do you have any advice for people just to go out there and like overcome their fears? I think you just take the steps around doing it. And if you really want to overcome your fears, you can do it. It's definitely possible. You just have to believe in it. You take the right steps and you and you can do it. Do Find really, the right people, I think. Do you really you think put it out I think that if you put it in the atmosphere and you really want to overcome something, yeah. Do you really think it's think, like a, a mental facade like that's going on? If you get rid of those barriers, do you think you can do anything like you said? I think it's all in your head, exactly. Yeah. You can do anything. It's all in your head, really. <laughs> You can do anything that anybody else has ever done, likely, and more. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we got to talk about Splash. How did this all get started? Did they contact you for the show? or? Yeah, I had some old friends set it up and ended up getting on, on Splash. You got to jump with all those guys. It's been amazing. How, did, how is it like working with all the, like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and so many stars? How is it working with them? Yeah, it's really cool. When I, when I met Kareem the first day, I was pretty starstruck. Not used to running into a guy like Kareem I'm sure, I'm on an sure. everyday basis. And and meeting Greg Luganis and working with that guy has been so cool. He's amazing. Just to, They're just legends, you know. It's really cool to get to meet and, and hang with and get to dive with them. I got to watch Kareem work on his eyes, see him do a couple sky hooks. Very cool. Well, from our perspective watching at home, it's like one of our favorite shows. We're hooked. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> it is. It's, it's been so fun to do. Yeah, very cool. And then tell us what's the training process like for that? How long do you guys have to train? Well, they give us in between, you know, every every taping or every every show you get about a week in between to learn something new and they kind of throw some stuff on you. I was amazed with how well everybody performed and like got these tricks thrown at them and they just went ahead and and did it. So it's pretty cool. What goes through your mind when you're up there? Anything in particular or just I think it's different every time. You just, uh, for me, I just think about what I'm doing. I'm like, I could do, you know, do an interview, and then it's time to jump. I'm like, okay, I better wrap my mind around what I'm gonna do, and then I do it. Exactly. Who do you think's your biggest competition at the moment? Uh, I think Drake and uh, and Nicole. And Nicole. Really good. Yeah, these guys. They're incredible divers. I think there's a lot. I think everyone on the show has been really stepping outside of their their barriers and like breaking you know like even chewy when he started he couldn't yeah. even swim he was scared of water and so uh, now to see him jumping and diving is pretty a, amazing amazing yeah. yeah definitely well i think you're one to beat too you're very good Thanks. thank you yeah exactly and we liked how you dedicated everything to sarah on the show just recently yeah. um uh, can you tell us about the Sarah Burke Foundation, a little bit about that? Yeah. yeah, Sarah's my inspiration for sure. and Her friends and family and I started the Sarah Burke Foundation. And it's just based around things that Sarah, Sarah used to help kids and used to do a lot of work with St. Jude's hospitals and stuff like that. And so we're just carrying on Sarah's ambitious, uh, the, just the way she was with the foundation. It's really cool. It's, it's good. I'm, I'm motivated through that to do more and and spread the word and help more kids. I'm sure she sounds like an amazing person. Yeah, she, she is. I can I ask you, how did you guys meet? We met skiing. Oh, you did? We met we were, when we were kids, yeah. And it was, uh, I guess not kids. I probably knew who she was before she knew me. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> but she, yeah, she was just an incredible skier. And we got to ski moguls together for a long time. And then we went to the X Games together and got to ski around the world together. But uh, it was always my dream to go for moguls, and it was Sarah's too. And Sarah actually, pretty much, she she lobbied and built the female side of skiing half mm -hmm. and she she basically now that skiing half will will uh, will debut in Sochi this year for the first time ever, oh, wow. and that's pretty much because of Sarah. She wow. like set, she lobbied for it and built the female side of the sport and encouraged lots of people. And, they put it in the Olympics. That's amazing. A person to look up to. That's great. That's so awesome. And then can you tell us um, a little bit about Nitro Circus? Oh, yeah. The Nitro Circus is, uh, that was an amazing time, for <laughs> sure. I got to go on tour with those guys through Australia and through Europe and just go from town to town and jump in stadiums in front of thousands of people. <laughs> it, was, it was exciting. I had roller skis on. They built me a pair of roller skis. So I just did some of my ski stuff on the the skateboard ramp, which is <laughs> it's pretty scary. There's no, once you start, there's no stopping on roller skis. I'm the only oh. one in there without brakes, so I'm kind of a hazard. Oh my 
my gosh. It must be like <laughs> a pl- it must be like a playground for you. It's pretty darn fun, yeah. It's amazing. Like those guys on the Nitros, those guys are amazing. They're serious, seriously dedicated athletes. Like they don't even care when they get hurt. They're like they just continue on with what they're doing, like achieve their goals. They're amazing. It was it was really inspirational to get to hang out with those guys and wow. tour Australia and Europe. It's awesome. Very cool. If you want motivation, just hang out with you guys just all day. I think you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, those guys are motivation for sure. <laughs> Very cool. And I was going to ask you, have you been to the Fantasy Factory before? No, I never have. Oh, you never have? Like Rob dyrdek has got to bring you down, I think. Yeah, I know. That would be awesome. That would be I'd cool. Love to check it out. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And then is yeah. there anything else you're going to be working on after Splash that we can look forward to? I'm going to be skiing in a... Uh, I'll be filming. I'm going to be working with Sherpa Cinema. Those guys put out All I Can last year, and uh, this year they're putting out Into the Mind. It's going to be amazing. And what else am I going to be doing? Probably just that, uh-huh. and maybe some more diving <laughs> nice. on my own, do some cliff diving. <laughs> yeah, for now, that's that's my, my plan is to go and film a bit more with those guys and do some skiing. Very cool. And Okay, so now we have a couple Get to Know You questions. So this is Get to Know Rory, and uh, first yeah. off, we're going to ask you, do you have a favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead with Baja Fresh. Mm-hmm. You know Baja Fresh? Yeah. I do. What, is what that do you... fast food even? I don't even know if it counts. Yeah, what do you get to order there? What do you get? Uh, a chicken Baja burrito. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, sounds good. And we're get... extra guacamole. I literally just had one. Oh, ah, see, there you go, your favorite fast food. Yeah. <laughs> and do you cook? Do you like to cook? I'm a terrible cook. I try. Sometimes I'll cook stuff up, but no. No, <laughs> I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> You're not a good cook. And then um, how about also your favorite TV show at the moment? My favorite TV show? Probably The Nitro Circus. The Nitro Circus. I'll watch those guys. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. And do you have a prize possession or something you can't live without? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Can't live without my skis. The Bushy Wayne's. Oh, yeah. Very cool. My very cool. Model do you, with Norca. Do you have like a, a lucky item you carry with you or anything that's like anything? Well, if I find a feather on the ground, I'll pick it up and put it in my hat. Lucky so, feather. Uh, yeah, lucky feathers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then also, um, what would you like if you won Splash? What would that mean to you? Oh, uh, that'd be super. That'd be. That would, that would mean a lot to me, my friends and family, and I hope it happens. I, do they know what? Do they have like a trophy or what's the prize for Splash? A big trophy, yeah. A big trophy. Crystal Splash, the Poseidon <laughs> symbol. Yeah, it's pretty serious. You mean they don't come to your house and build a whole diving board for you? To have I wish <laughs> that'd be amazing. I want a diving board in my living room instead of that trophy. Exactly. That's How cool would that be? <laughs> really tough. And now we're gonna <laughs> ask, we're gonna ask you about your Twitter. Um, tell us how okay. you like using it. Oh, I used to use it. I use it in a bunch of different ways. I use it a lot to promote my friends and the things that, that I'm doing. But when I started, I would just put funny quotes on there. And I do that still sometimes. My my, I mostly just use it through my Instagram. I'll post a picture of what whatever's going on, and then I'll link it to my Twitter. Do you have a favorite, so, in, do you have a favorite Instagram photo you've posted? Yeah, there's a few good ones I put up there recently. I put a diving photo on my on my uh, Instagram the other day, at Bushy Wayne. That's the, the plug. 